Hi everyone, we are going to do a reading and see what comes through. So we are going to, yeah, we're going to see. Let me just grab the cards. Um, by the way, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, this reading, it's for all star signs. So if you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it can be a sign in itself. And the other thing I also wanted to mention as well is that I offer personal services. So, you know, it's personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and so much more. There's also bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, sage bundles, candles, teas, etc. Everything is handmade, meditated with, and saged, and shopmoonlightguidance.com is the place. Okay, so with that being said, let's begin with your reading. Ooh. Communication. Well, there you go. Okay, so <laughs> the magician's literally ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication, information, and ideas. And look, when I saw the Six of Wands, I was like, okay, someone's coming towards you. Sun shows an opening, and the Nine of Pentacles shows you not having to do all of that work. And literally, then the communication card came out as well. So I do feel that you're going to get a text or a phone call from someone who yes, you've been expecting it from, but you haven't been sitting around waiting for it from them. And that's really the big thing is that it's going to happen when you're kind of just minding your own business, like this lady here in her garden, you know, you doing you, and then boom, this communication comes your way. Oh my gosh, look at these cards. Fool, justice. It shows here that they will come to you in a very spontaneous way to the point where you won't really expect it. And justice here shows them wanting to resolve things with you and wanting to progress things with you. And we also see here as well the Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords and also the Strength card as well. So this is really, really significant. In fact, I would say it's probably, well, one of the most significant things. And the reason for that is because the full justice and then the eight of swords here shows that they do have a lot of active regrets within themselves that they aren't necessarily telling you but they definitely have strong feelings towards you no doubt about it whatsoever okay so the eight of swords here shows they hold a lot to themselves and actually feel really bad about how they have treated you queen of wands here as well i think you're in a place of power <laughs> that's your affirmation for this reading i'm in a place of power comment it down below especially if this resonates straight away or if it's been resonating or you claim it but I definitely feel here as well that they are feeling so strong towards you and they do have regrets in regards to things that have happened um, towards you and things that have happened that perhaps have been not very like justified let's say so um, I think what you need to know here is that they're still trying to get themselves together they're still trying to feel strong they're still trying to feel good within themselves they struggle a lot in their own emotions and energies and definitely with the strength card as well they do have difficulties expressing themselves so even though they can come to you with a text or a phone call you may find that the communication isn't as much as you would like it to be you may find that it's not as in-depth as you would like it to be you might feel like there's a big elephant that they are not addressing and you're just like hello can we address the elephant in the room reason for that is because first and foremost they will come to you with minimal communication okay yes they will want to resolve things with you and you will feel you know in your heart and your soul like okay they want to resolve things with me here um but they may not say so much and that's because they want to see whether you would reject them or not first um, they feel like it's no point you know saying so much if at the end of the day you don't even want to listen to them so basically I'm not saying that you won't listen to them I'm just saying that they will want to make sure that you're you don't want to reject them and then after that they will feel much more comfortable talking to you um, and you know just really yeah talking to you and seeing what's what basically so it is a process um, that is definitely something I'm seeing here but um, yeah, they might just say like, hi, how are you? And just, you know, what have you been up to? Very basic things to begin with. And that might frustrate you. You know, you may want more communication from them, which I can 100% understand, but they're not in a place to, to give that as of right now. Okay, so they'll communicate with you when they're much more ready. I do also have some message cards, which I'm going to pull as well. Yeah, see, seven of wands. They'll still be holding back to a degree. But this holding back will be less, there you go, eight of cups as well, holding back, emotionally keeping to themselves, being a little bit more withdrawn. But as time goes by, the conversations will get more. So this initial conversation may not be as, let's say, as 
as much in terms of intensity as you would like it to be but then it definitely will grow in intensity and become even stronger as time goes by it's just a bit of a process as as we know and as we see here okay now let's keep going saw that i saw it it's the nine of swords yeah i feel like when you see a card you can't unsee it and it sort of just flipped over okay let me put these here what i'm seeing all right is that yes they are going to message you okay it may not be as much as you want it to be straight away but depending on that conversation they will then open up to you little by little a lot more which means that if you are just fun and diplomatic in that conversation and you just you know answer their questions like yeah i'm doing okay thank you how are you yeah i've just been busy with it you know things like that then they will feel more comfortable talking to you if you shut them down as soon as they try and communicate with you then yes they are going to be very withdrawn they are going to feel like oh, okay this person's going to reject me i can't be too vulnerable around them i can't really say what i'm thinking or feeling Oh, that's too much, you know? So I think that's important as well um, to really keep in mind. Um, I mean, I have had it before where people would, you know, shut the other person down to make them feel guilty. It's just a slippery slope. I don't really recommend doing that kind of stuff because at the end of the day, then you're going to feel regret for saying something and wishing you didn't say it, you know? And, and then you're going to feel frustrated that you said something when you were trying to make them feel guilty, but instead you just push them away, you know? So it's just not worth doing these kinds of things. I can understand why some of you do it, but if anything, it's because you feel triggered, you know? Um, you feel triggered for how you were treated. You, were tr you feel triggered because of how they were toward you. But what you have to understand is that that goes to show that you also need healing um, if you feel that way, okay? Because I just felt that some of you might be in that kind of situation where you're like, oh, well, okay, they're going to come and communicate with me. Let, let me shut them down so they know what it feels like. Well, actually, that's just going to scare them away, okay? So that's really important here. Instead, work on your personal healing. To be honest, if you don't want to talk to them, then you don't have to. But I know that some of you do that in order to try and make them feel a certain way so that they talk to you more. But it just, it, it does the opposite, okay? So what's really important here with the full, um, not the full, sorry, the moon, is that um, they hide their emotions, okay? Because they are quite scared. Three of cups, they will pluck up the courage to come and have conversations with you. I think that also they have been confiding um, to some kind of friend or family member about you. And that person is saying, yeah, just, you know, go and, and, and you know, just have a conversation, see where it goes. So they will just come to you and have a conversation to see where it goes. They're not gonna necessarily be emotional straight away they'll hide their emotions at first but they will come to you with the overall intention in time to communicate more with you so that's what you need to know as well five ones yes they get confused they get overwhelmed they do get very very heavily stressed as well so this one here says don't think because we don't talk i don't want to sorry i don't want you because i do okay so they do remember they're hiding these feelings so just because they're not showing you that they really care about you and that they want you know just because they're not showing you that you know, you're talking, doesn't mean that they don't want you. It's hidden. I'm not hiding the connection for the wrong reasons, okay? So they're not trying to purposely hide things. Um, just know I'm obsessed with you, okay? So they are obsessed with you. They do think about you a lot. They do care about you a lot. How they treat you is really a reflection of themselves and where they are right now in their life. You know, they're feeling overwhelmed. They're feeling stressed. They're feeling confused. Not because of you, but more so because of just where they are at in their life. You know, they feel stressed out. They feel overwhelmed. They feel frustrated with where they are at. And just, you know, things will get better in the sense that they will come towards you and be honest with you. But of course, right now, they are... They are struggling, you know, they really are struggling within themselves, but I do feel that they will come to you with a lot more, I would say, openness and understanding from what I'm picking up on. So that will, you know, that will happen. They will be much more 
towards you rather than let's say against you which is obviously like really important you know so that's what we have right there Ta -da. okay so this is your reading now of course if this res resonates with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And yeah, that is what we have here. All right, so take care, everyone, and I'll see you all very soon.